Hey everybody, so this video is going to be a collective haul of things I've purchased in about, I don't know, the past six weeks, two months or so. Um, I've done some online shopping and a lot of those things took a long time to come in. I'm still waiting on a couple things, but I thought I'd share with you guys. I also did some shopping in Seattle when we were down in the States and I did some dropping, shopping here at the drugstore as well. So I kind of have just like a random collection of new things that are new to me that I'm trying out and I thought I would just share with you guys what I have so far. So I guess starting with online purchasing. I bought this, I want to say almost two months ago, and it only just arrived, maybe six weeks ago, but probably closer to two months ago. Um, and it's off Haute Look, which um, it's one of those websites that I check every day. It's like a deal a day website where they have different things that are on sale every single day, and sometimes they have makeup brands, good makeup brands, so I always check them out and this particular day they had the bomb and I've really been impressed with a lot of the products from the bomb that I have so far so I decided to try out some more and these were really heavily discounted. I wish I had the receipt here but I think it was like at least 50% off um, the regular price. So I purchased three things from the bomb. The first one is this Meat Matte Nude Palette. This is what it looks like. I've really been loving matte eyeshadows. If you've been watching my channel the past couple months or so, you'll know that. Um, so I thought this would be really good to add to my collection. These are all obviously matte eyeshadows, and they're just very, very pigmented. I'll do swatches of some of them for you. Um, and yeah, I just think they blend really well. I've used them just uh, two times so far, but look at that. Like, that's crazy pigment. Let me just swatch it on my hand for you. So there's colors there, they're not chalky, they blend well, and they're just really good neutral matte colors. So I'm excited for that. Another product from the bomb I got is a highlighter. I've heard a lot about this highlighter, um, and it was so cheap. I want to say it was like 7 or $8. I thought, well, why not pick it up? It's called the Mary Luminizer, um, aka the Luminizer. The packaging for the bomb is just so adorable. Look at that. So cute. This is what the highlighter looks like. I wasn't too sure what to expect, although I know a lot of people really like it. And I will say from first impressions, it is very intense. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's very pretty. It's just more intense than I anticipated. There it is there in my hand. I like that it's pretty finely milled. It's definitely more of a gold tone, champagne tone highlighter. Um, you just have to use it very, very sparingly. I think I need to play around with it a little bit. So. That's that one, and then the third product from the balm I got is one of these in stain blushes. It's called a long wearing stain blush, staining powder blush. And I was really intrigued by this. These came out like, I don't know, I want to say six months ago. Um, and I've wanted to get one ever since, and since it was on sale, I went for it. It's basically a powder blush that also stains your cheeks at the same time. So I was very intrigued by it. The color I got is Argyle. This is what the packaging looks like. So cute very compact and then there's the color there really pretty everyday pink color there it is there on my on my finger it's like a light uh, kind of baby pink and when it goes on your your face or on your hand it has a bit of a sheen to it I put it on an awkward spot on my hand but I don't know if you can pick up that sheen to it. So it's really quite pretty. Um, I haven't had it long enough to test out the staying power of it. I am wearing it today on my cheek. So I think it's a really pretty color, but I, I can't say, it's not like a review. I can't say what the staying power is yet, but I will keep you guys updated. So that's what I got from the bomb. And then um, when I was down in the States, I picked up a few things. One is this color tattoo that I already features in a video. I'll link it down below, and it's basically three different ways or eyeshadow looks that I use this color tattoo. Um, this one is Caramel Cool. These are my favorite, these Maybelline color tattoos. They are just so versatile, so pigmented. And when I saw this copper color, which looks so good on green eyes, I had to pick it up. So check out that video if you want to see more of this, but it's just stunning. There it is there, and it lasts forever, and it's just such a beautiful color. So I was really happy with that. It's from their new spring line. And then while I was at Walgreens, I picked up some more backups of the Jor Dor Jordana. I always mess up when I say that. Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. I really like this mascara. I've been using it for a while now. It's only $1.99 or $2.99. I can't remember, but I picked up a bunch of backups of that. And then I decided to try out this eyeliner because I like the color. The color is mint. It's the Jordana Easy Liner. Um, and I will show you what it looks like. It's a really pretty spring summer color. There it is there in my hand. Don't know if it's showing up true to color, but it's like a turquoisey mint color and it's so, so pretty. I love it. I love it on the lower lash line. So 
happy with that. And then the last, oh no, I got two more things while I was down in the States. This I picked up at Nordstrom Rack. I had never been to a Nordstrom Rack before. It was quite overwhelming, although exciting at the same time. I love looking through all the clothes. Uh, I did get some clothing pieces, but they also have makeup there as well. And I picked up two things because the sale was just amazing. This first one is from Stila and I was so excited to find this because I've had a Stila eyeliner before and it's definitely one of my all-time favorites. However, they're quite pricey and when I saw this, I just got really, really excited. So, it comes in a tin like this. Um, does it still have the price tag on it? Darn. Maybe it's on this. Hang on a second. Yeah, there we go. So this is regularly $39.00. And I got it for $22.97. So $22.97 is essentially the cost of one eyeliner from Stila. But in this package here, I got four. Three of them are smaller than the big black one, but it doesn't matter to me. So there's the, the normal big black eyeliner pen, a blue one, a green one, and a brown one. And all of those for $22 is crazy. Stila, like I said, makes some of the best eyeliners. They're the felt tip eyeliner pens. Super fine tip draw it for you. Very, very black and really easy to work with. So I was really happy to score that. The other thing I scored at Nordstrom Rack was this hair product, something I've heard about a lot from on YouTube, so I wanted to check it out. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. So it looks like there. It's a leave-in spray treatment that helps you comb through your hair. I have used it quite a bit. Leaves your hair feeling soft. It's supposed to do a whole bunch of things, 10 different things for your hair. So Yes, and I got this for $17.97, and everywhere else I looked it was over $20, so it wasn't a huge savings, but it was enough of a savings to get it at Nordstrom Rack rather than like Walgreens, so I picked that up, and then lastly, some drugstore shopping here back in Canada, um, I came across, I don't even know where to start, I came across this really cute blush from Essence, I really like the brand Essence, and this is called Kalinka Beauty, it was like a... It was on an end aisle. It was a just like a newer display. That's what the packaging looks like. Reminds me a lot of the balm. And then you open it up. And isn't that such a gorgeous color? It's like a tangerine peach color blush. I think these are only $2.99. There it is there. More peachy when I swatch it. Um, but I've worn it and I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. It's going to be so pretty in the summertime it's right over here that's very lightly swatched but yeah such a pretty color I would definitely recommend checking that out and then beside it they had some brushes and they had a lip brush and I don't own any um, proper lip brushes so this one I think was only $1.99 I thought I'd pick it up because I just need one of those in my life so I got that and then I got this Garnier BB cream. You know how I love trying out BB creams. Um, I just love experimenting with new ones and I've heard great things about this one so I want to try it out. This one is the combination to oily skin um, because it is more mattifying than the regular one and although I'm not super oily anymore, I would prefer to be more matte than more shiny. I'd, I'd like to control the shine if that makes sense. So I got this one in light medium. Um, today is the first day I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it right now on my skin and it has really good coverage. It looks like to me I'm wearing a foundation, but it's just a BB cream. I don't know what the longevity is like. I need to test it out some more, but if you want a review on this, let me know. I picked that up. And then I got a Wet n Wild Mega Last Nail Polish. Again, something I've heard great things about but never tried out for myself. It was only a couple of dollars and this color was calling to me. I'm wearing the color right now. It is called... Tropicalia 210C. That's what it looks like. It's like a hot pinky coral color. And really, I think this would look fantastic on my toes. But I wanted to try it on my nails to see what the longevity was of this. Um, so I just painted these last night, so they're still totally fine. But I wanted to test that out. And then while I was at the little Wet n Wild stand, I was looking at the lipsticks. And again, something I you can tell I go off of recommendations from YouTube. I don't always buy everything that people talk about, but I at least go check them out. And if it's something that intrigues me, I will buy it. And this, again, like $2. It's the color 903C Just Peachy from Wet n Wild. I'll come in so that it will zoom in for you. There you go. Um, and it's just like a peachy, orangey kind of nude color. And honestly, I like the way it looks on my lips better than it's swatched. It's on my lips right now. There it is swatched on my hand right here. It looks more orange on my skin, but on my lips, some pink comes through. And 
I really like it. So I think this is going to be one of my fave colors this spring summer. There's the color there. It's like, I don't know, a peachy pink color, but, but not too much contrast with my regular skin color, if that makes sense. It's not like, ba-bam, I'm wearing this big bright coral or pink lip. It still looks quite neutral to me, but it's just a really pretty color. So pick that up. And then the last two things are not makeup. Well, one of them's for makeup. It is a brush from EcoTools. I like all EcoTools brushes I own, so I wanted to try another one. And I needed, I was using this Kabuki brush from Crown Brush when I got it at iMats last year, and I'm just not a big fan. So I decided to get an EcoTools one. This is actually their bronzing brush, but I decided I'm going to use it as a powder brush. And it's just so soft and dense and smooth and lovely, and I love Equal to equal tools so I know I'll be really happy with this. The last product I got is from Got To Be. It's called the Guardian Angel Gloss Finish Flat Iron Balm Spray. So basically what this is, it's a heat protectant and it's supposed to make your hair glossier when you um, flat iron with it. Today is the first day that I used it. I did it really, really quickly. So, I mean, I can't tell if it's given my hair any extra shine or anything. Um, I'm going to have to play around with it a bit more, but I thought, why not have like a two-in-one product where I'm getting that heat protectant and then it's adding a bit of shine. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on this. Not too sure. It was only a couple dollars, so it's not a big deal, but I wanted to try it out. So that is kind of my random giant collective haul. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see a review of anything or if you have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!